Hyundai Motor Share's vision of new metamobility concept, expanding human reach through robotics and metaverse at CES 2022. Under the main theme of expanding human reach, Hyundai Motor's presentations reflected how the company's robotics business will drive the paradigm shift towards future mobility, going beyond the traditional means of transportation to fulfill unlimited freedom of movement for humankind. Robotics is an essential part of Hyundai Motors' transformation into a smart mobility solution provider. Having acquired Boston Dynamics, an innovator in the field, Hyundai Motor has sharpened its focus on advancing robotics to enhance people's lives through a range of mobility solutions. The company sees robotics and mobility as complementary in that one accelerates development of the other, and vice versa. Together, they form a synergistic combination that will add value to the business and drive progress for humanity, starting with a robotics-based mobility of things, MOT, ecosystem. This Alpine A4810 concept is powered by hydrogen. Students were challenged to make a Super Berlinette for 2035, and this is what they came up with. Usually students end up sketching cars out of sheer boredom, but 28 lucky SOAN SOS from Turin's IED Design School have been given the chance to do it for real. And on this evidence, years of practice was worth it. Learn the lesson, kids. Looks wicked, doesn't it? The Alpine A4810 concept is a two-seater Berlinette with aerodynamics heavily influenced by Formula One and afternoons spent doodling through double maths. The students were given their brief by Alpine last autumn, and after everyone had submitted their ideas, two were chosen to form the basis of the final design. The bitone colors, matte black and carbon fiber elements have been carefully crafted to draw attention to each section of the car, while the interior was designed digitally. wind propulsion and route optimization the challenge the IMO has set the goals for the shipping industry ultimately arriving at a 50% reduction in GHG by 2050 amplifier recently published the towards net zero report to show pathways to reduce emissions to zero it identifies wind as a significant and underutilized source of energy in shipping the IMO, flags, and class all want wind to become a viable propulsion method. There is also considerable pull from forward-thinking vessel owners and charterers that are prepared to take a leadership position and hence want to push for early adoption of the GHG reductions. Bar Technologies has invested significant resource over the past years to become equipped to become a key player in cutting emissions in the marine industry. That research resulted in our patent-pended Windwings technology. Extensive research by patent agents and other professionals clearly show our solution to be unique and powerful. Geely's home truck unveiled as Tesla semi-rival, coming in 2024. The home truck will offer methanol, range extender, or pure electric powertrains, the latter with a battery swapping option. Geely's commercial vehicle brand Verizon Auto has unveiled its next generation smart new energy semi truck, the Hom Truck. Built on a highly modular architecture, the Hom Truck promises to be one of the most advanced and cleanest commercial vehicles on the road when production and deliveries start in early 2024. The semi-truck architecture can accommodate several powertrain options including range extender, methanol hybrid and pure electric with battery swapping option. The latter will allow the home truck to charge at service stations across highways in minutes. While no specs are available at the moment, 
Geely says the new semi-truck boasts major breakthroughs in sustainable powertrains and focuses on efficiency as well as driver and pedestrian safety. Samsung's Digital Cockpit 2021 enables working on the go. Using 5G connectivity, Samsung's Digital Cockpit 2021 turns cars into mobile offices and entertainment hubs. Rose Dykins reports. Samsung has unveiled the latest version of its 5G-based digital cockpit, which turns a vehicle's dashboard into a hybrid home entertainment office. The Samsung Digital Cockpit 2021 currently remains a concept at this point, but the aim is to inspire its production as part of future car models. First developed as a partnership between Samsung Electronics and Harman International in 2018, the technology lets passengers connect their mobile devices to Samsung DeX2 platform for vehicles. This enables two-way communication between a vehicle and customer's devices, whether these devices are at their work or home, or with them in the passenger seat. The Digital Cockpit 2021 features a 49-inch QLED display at the front of the car which, when set to default mode, rests behind the dashboard and displays useful information, such as maps for navigation, showing the vehicle's speed and other settings. Car of the Future Mercedes-Benz F-015 Luxury in Motion Car of the Future Mercedes-Benz F-015 Luxury in Motion debuted in early 2015 at the electronics show CES in Las Vegas. The concept looks very unusual and cannot but arouse admiration. This fully autonomous luxury sedan is 5,220mm long, 2,018mm wide, and 1,524mm high. Wheelbase, as much as 3,610mm. To provide easy access to the spacious interior, the car doors open at an angle of 90 degrees, and there are no B pillars at all. Access to the car is exclusively digital. The concept recognizes any mobile device of the owner, smartphone or tablet, opens the door in front of him and allows him to activate the main functions. The cabin has four swivel bucket seats and a movable display table in the center of the cabin. The instrument panel is equipped with six touch screens that form a digital living room. Starship Super Heavy Earth to Earth Similar to previous high-altitude flight tests of Starship, SN-15 was powered through ascent by three Raptor engines, each shutting down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching apogee approximately 10 kilometers in altitude. SN-15 performed a propellant transition to the internal header tanks, which hold landing propellant, before reorienting itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent. The Starship prototype descended under active aerodynamic control, accomplished by independent movement of two forward and two aft flaps on the vehicle. All four flaps were actuated by an onboard flight computer to control Starship's attitude during flight and enable precise landing at the intended location. SN-15's Raptor engines reignited as the vehicle performed the landing flip maneuver immediately before touching down for a nominal landing on the pad. BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 The Motorcycle of the Future Glasses in place of a helmet, smart clothing, full balance without a kickstand, only three of the many inventions that could become standards for riding a motorcycle and add a new dimension to the sense of freedom in an increasingly digitized world. And the best thing about it, this Vision vehicle is already here. Introducing the BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 the futuristic two-wheeler glides through the auditorium, the jet black triangular frame illuminates the blue and white BMW logo. The female driver only wears a visor, which looks like a pair of glasses from the next century instead of a helmet. She stops and stands up from the seat, without taking either foot off the pegs. 
The Vision Bike presented at the Iconic Impulses Exhibition. The BMW Group Future Experience that is celebrating its world premiere in Los Angeles transports the viewer to the year 2130. The Ford Pro Electric Supervan is a 2000 HP race car concept. Ford reaches back in its history to revive one of its coolest test beds ever. Ford revealed a new running concept called the Ford Pro Electric Supervan on Thursday at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's a nearly 2000 HP, all electric callback to one of the company's coolest prototypes. It should also be one of the quickest cars to fly up the hill this weekend. Ford says the Supervan uses parts of the new e-transit's floor pan combined with a custom steel space frame to make up the body, while the body panels are constructed of lightweight composite material. Underneath you'll find a 50 kilowatt hours liquid-cooled battery pack powering four individual motors, pushing out a total of 2,000 PS, 1972 horsepower. The company claims a 0 to 60 time of 2 seconds flat. Elon Musk's boring company to expand underground tunnels in Las Vegas. A large network of tunnels can alleviate congestion in any city. No matter how large a city grows, more levels of tunnels can be added. As part of its effort to construct a transportation system hitting the most popular stops in Las Vegas, Elon Musk's The Boring Company received approval this week to expand its underground tunnels downtown. Musk's vision for the Vegas Loop includes plans to connect the city's strip, Harry Reid International Airport, Allegiant Stadium, downtown Las Vegas, and eventually Los Angeles. First approved in October 2021 by the Clark County Commissioners, the latest unanimous vote on the non-exclusive agreement permits tunnels to be constructed from the stratosphere to Fremont Street. When completed, the project is anticipated to have 51 stops and cover 29 miles, transporting up to 57,000 passengers each hour. Currently, only 1.7 miles underneath the Las Vegas Convention Center are operational. What is normally a 25-minute walk across the campus now only takes two minutes via a human-controlled Tesla Model X and Y. Nuva V300, the future of air cargo transport. The ultimate autonomous cargo EVTOL with dramatic range, economics, payload, and reliability. The Nuva V300 is a revolutionary long-range large-capacity heavyweight autonomous EVTOL UAV for logistics and aerial cargo delivery. It operates 10x more economically than today's helicopters, requires no runways, and brings enhanced safety and reliability using Pipistrel's type certified electric engines. Pipistrel's push into the EVTOL air cargo market comes on the back of the experience gained on the company's sister 801 EVTOL project. In contrast with urban air mobility intended for personnel transportation, where the regulatory framework has shifted the time of implementation of commercial utilization of air taxi EVTOLs, we believe the air cargo market is ripe for disruption with highly efficient and economical vehicles, such as the Nuva V300 right now. powered futuristic sky hotel can stay in the air for several years have you ever imagined a holiday on a sky cruise Hashem al Dali presented a video explaining all of the features and sections of this sky hotel which is based on Tony Holmston's architectural idea and redesigned and animated by Hashem al Dali sky cruise is a nuclear powered futuristic sky hotel with a capacity of over 5,000 guests its elegant design blends commercial plane elements with luxury sky cruise amenities such as a large hall with a 360-degree view of your surroundings. It will have shopping malls, sports centers, swimming pools, restaurants, bars, children's playgrounds, theaters, and cinemas. There's also a part for planning events, such as a sky cruise's wedding. 
Why not? Two exterior elevators with a magnificent view link the levels of the main entertainment deck. According to Hashem Al Ghali, there is no reason to be concerned about the carbon footprint of a Sky Cruise. Its 20 electric engines are fueled entirely by pure nuclear energy, and a tiny nuclear reactor works a well-regulated fusion process to offer endless energy to the Sky Hotel. In this way, the Nuclear Energy Hotel never runs out of fuel and may stay in the air for several years without ever touching the ground.